Und weiter geht's mit Singer, Songwriter Michael Burke. Eben den wunderschönen Song gehört aus dem Sean Penn Soundtrack. It's a beautiful soundtrack. Scores by David Byrne, Lyrics by Bonnie Prince Billy, Vocals were done by you. And then you actually won a very prestigious award. It was Best Original Song at the 2012 David Di Donatello, as it's called, Italian Academy Awards. This is like the Italian Oscars, isn't it? It was, it was a song, if it falls, it falls from the movie. That's right, yeah. That, yeah. that was like, uh, what, was, what was that experience like, being up on stage? Because because he actually did the acceptance speech up on stage. Um, it was very surreal. I didn't expect, even after the soundtrack was done, I didn't think it, it was epic enough to win. You know, usually these songs tend to be quite well produ produced and stuff. And the idea of the whole of the soundtrack was that it was like a young artist who was recording demos. Mm -hmm. It wasn't meant to be that polished. And it wasn't a polished uh, product, but it won. And um, well, it was nominated, first of all, and I flew out. and. I still didn't expect it to win, yeah. like sitting there. So you had no, nothing really written down just in case that well, you really win the award? Um, that was mentioned to me before, and what happens if it wins? What are you, you going to say something? Uh -huh. And then I said, there was a, a girl who worked on the, she's a, an Irish girl actually, who worked on the editing. I'd met her at the premiere, and she said, uh, I asked her to write something down. Uh, I wrote something down, and then I got her to say it into, into my iPhone because my Italian is not very good. It's about as good as my German. Well, it, it was okay so, actually when you, when you did it up on stage. And I think yeah. you even put in a little a little joke for the for the audience. Well, I thought it was a joke. Um, I said, um, I'm Irish. I live in New York, and in New York, the Irish do all the Italians' dirty work. <laughs> a reference to the mafia and stuff. And then I looked down, and there was a few little laughs, and but. Maybe it died. I'm not sure. <laughs> so, so, we should so. really show the audience this clip. This is actually you accepting the award. Here is it, nämlich Michael Bronner im Jahr 2012, ein ganz, ganz wichtiger Preis für seinen Soundtrack. Wir gucken mal ganz kurz rein in Italien. Musica di David Byrne, testi di Will Holdham, interpretata da Michael Bronner per This Must Be the Place. Yeah. And so don't pretend that this isn't what. You want it to come true If it falls, it falls And it rains all around And it's because of you Things that you were Vai. Allora <coughs> Miglior canzone originale 2012 è eh? This must be the place David Byrne Il premio. A few words. <laughs> ecco. Buonasera. Sono irlandese e vivo a New York. A New York è normale che gli italiani facciano fare agli irlandesi il loro lavoro sporco. <laughs> And, and there's you do, doing the joke up on stage. Mm, I thought it was funny at the time. <laughs> you thought it was funny at the time. <laughs> yeah. And I got out alive, so... <laughs> you, you actually made it. But, but, but this thing really, it, it must have opened so many new doors, actually. What, what happened after? after well, what was lovely was that I met, at, at, for that weekend, we, I made good friends with a, um, a bunch of guys called the Caesars, who, who were also up for that award, were nominated, and they had done a Francesco Bruni soundtrack. Mm -hmm for one of his movies. And later, we did some work together. I, I visited him in Italy, we wrote some songs, and then we ended up writing some music for Francesco's new song, new um, next movie. And uh, so I've kept a relationship with those guys, and uh, we're go we'll, we'll be recording some, another, an EP soon. So th th that's going to be coming up, you working, working with the Caesars, it's like an EP coming up very soon. Can, can you actually say like like a date when it's going to be coming no, up? No, um, we, we started, uh, on the track maybe a year and a half ago and then we ended up doing um it's sort of dan it's very dancey we, we've there's one song up there called 
um, red line. I'm, I'm going to show this actually. I'm okay. going to show this song, mm. and, and this is really cool because you say it's a cross between mm. Rihanna and Radiohead. I think that's a very interesting uh, yeah. our, our comparison. I'm the Rihanna part. You're the Rihanna part. Yeah. <laughs> jetzt gucken wir uns noch mal einen Song an von ihm, weil er ist, er ist, äh, ist er hat sehr viel interessante musikalische Fähigkeiten, auch mit einem äh, Produzententeam aus Italien. Die heißen nämlich mm. Caesars, und mit denen hat er einen Song gemacht, der heißt Red Line. Und er sagt selber über diesen Song, es ist eine Mischung aus Rihanna und Red Radiohead, er hat gerade gesagt, er spielt den Rihanna Part und ich muss sagen, es ist ein wirklich, wirklich cooler Song geworden, auch vom Beat her, eine ganz andere Geschichte, als wie ihr ihn eben wahrscheinlich gehört habt. Hier ist er zusammen mit den Caesars, mit Redline, Michael Bronach. Michael Bronach und die Caesars und Redline und es wird auch irgendwann eine EP rauskommen, wo noch viel, viel mehr Werke mit ihm zusammen und den Caesars äh, zu hören sein werden. What I really like about it is, is, is you don't really seem to be afraid of trying new things musically. Is, is that, because that, that really doesn't sound like, like the songs that we heard before, the, the song with the Caesars. It's like the beat is like completely different. It's, it's a very hypnotic song, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's, that's their bag. They're very good at coming up with beats and stuff like that. And I probably would go more that direction if I could do it myself. But I'm a much more, my voice is a, I tend to write stuff around the acoustic guitar because yeah. that's my instrument. But I do like um, this style and I love to write in these these ways it make, gets me very focused and energetic so the style of the ep will be like this we mm -hmm. have another couple of songs in the works but we got delayed because we 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 also were doing work for the soundtrack yeah. which was a different style it was like it was like um um more americana folk folky kind of thing and we we did that we wrote a song called peaches and cream for, mm -hmm. for the francesco bruni movie so um Yeah, so I like to try a lot of different things, and, and different I've been working things. on a project recently for um, for 2016 in Ireland. It's a very big year in Ireland. It's where we commemorate the the, the rising in Ireland, which ultimately gave Ireland its uh, freedom it's as freedom, a, as an yeah. independent nation. So uh, I've been working on a kind of an imagined. I would imagine it would be a soundtrack for the life of a character in that, whose name was Roger Casement. He's like one of your real heroes, isn't it? He, he is, yeah. yeah like he's a hu humanitarian, I, I remember. Yes, he did a lot of work uh, for peoples at that time, in, around the turn of the century. He exposed the atrocities in, in the Belgian Congo mm -hmm. while rubber was being collected. And then he later went to the Amazon and wrote a report on how the natives were being treated there and exposed all of this and got a knighthood from the King of England for his work. But at the same time, he had mixed feelings because he looked at Ireland and saw his own nation being enslaved. Yeah. And um, he actually came here. He was here 100 years ago uh, at this time and got the uh, German government to commit to giving Ireland its freedom if the First World War went the way for the German Empire. So, yeah, he's a very he's an extraordinary life. You know, he, he also he got, he got captured later after the 1916 yeah. rising. And he may have uh, been, you know, escaped death, if, but it was exposed that he, he was a homosexual. And to be, at that time, to be exposed, then, that, yeah. that was a death sentence right there. So, um, so it's an extraordinary life, and I've written a whole series of songs. And the first one I did tonight was a light. It's a love song that he, it's a poem that he wrote, and I just put music to it. And it just describes, like, how you feel when you're in love. Yeah. But of course, he's not saying who he's in love with. It's a very interesting project yeah. about Ro Roger Casement. So that, that is still in the works. But here on the table, actually, this is the third album you did, The, the Orchard. Yes. Um, what, what can you expect a, a new album? Because I remember this album really it took about two years in, in the making because you really, you, 
it was mixed by a Grammy winning producer and you wanted to be everything just just right just just yes. really that, that it sounds really great yeah it was mixed by Pat Dillard who who was the guy who originally called me for the David Byrne uh, project I think he worked and with Mary J Blige before yes he? he's won Grammys with her yeah. for her and uh, so he did a great job on that um, I think you know sometimes as a musician you you uh, have you might be working on something and you have expectations and the most important thing is that you don't stop that you keep moving yeah and you just perform and you you just give the music as the first priority and the rest of the stuff should fall into place if it's meant to happen at a certain time so I may have had very high expectations at that time because I have my friend Glenn Hansard who won an Oscar yeah. in, in the US is singing on this with me also and um, I think just as a an independent artist without full uh, backing it's it's very difficult to know how how uh, things go and evolve you know in terms of business of music oh. so I'm very proud of this album and it's uh, it did take the time to do because the Irish so, roots are really very very evident strong and, and, and yeah very strong and a song for my grandfather album. actually it's over 100 years old was, was he the one really family really inspired you do, doing music I think so yeah he was he was the same name as me mm -hmm. Michael Brunnock and when I was a child, we would go down to the farms and uh, the farm where he lived, and they would uh, sit around. It's a very traditional thing in Ireland to sit, yeah, and, sit, sing sit around and sing songs around the fireplace. So, um, so that was very. It's a very vivid memory for me. And my uncle brought a cassette recorder from from London, and he recorded uh, some songs at that time. And it was the first time my grandfather heard his own voice back. Wow! So I, w I witnessed all of that as a, as a f f five, six, seven year old. And uh, the, he took it very seriously. He didn't, when he sang, he didn't want to be interrupted. And he w wanted silence and quiet. And I sort of, I really uh, admired his, uh, just the, how important it was to him to record these songs. A lot of songs in this culture are all about telling stories. So it, it tends to be rep quite a repetitive melody, which goes, but it's all about telling the story. And, and, you, and you actually you continue the story even even now in in 2015. There's so many projects going on with you, mm -hmm. and you're all also on tour in 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 NRW at this time. Habe ich euch ja eben schon gesagt. Michael Bronach ist momentan auf Tour hier bei uns in NRW. Gleich geht's nämlich sofort rüber für ihn. Dann spielt er in der Kassette in Düsseldorf. Am Freitag wird er im Café Bo in Köln spielen. Am Samstag ist er in Kleve unterwegs. Also ihr habt definitiv die Chance, diesen wirklich sehr sehr sympathischen, wirklich tollen Ausnahmekünstler auch mal live auf der Bühne zu erleben. Ein Song wird er uns gleich noch spielen. We'll be hearing one more song by you looking forward to that and all the best for the future thank you so much und ihr könnt immer noch mal alles über Michael Bronach hier euch über die Homepage von ihm durchlesen er ist ja nämlich noch mal michaelbronach.com da sind noch mal alle Informationen auch die Gigs und die Alben unter anderem auch das dritte Album hier vorne steht dann noch The Orchard thank you so much Michael Bronach weiter hier bei uns im Programm und gleich noch mal für euch live bei uns auf der Bühne bleibt dran